Hi, I'm Jordan MB and welcome to another video blog. There's a few things that I have to talk to you guys about um, as to what's been happening in my life recently since my last video blog. So, here we go. Okay, the first one is that I have recently started TAFE. I'm at Logan Lee campus and I'm there part-time Mondays and Tuesdays. I am enrolled in Certificate 3 in Business and Business Administration and it is a great course, let me tell you, it is amazing. Um, it's not too hard but it's not too easy which is kind of what my parents wanted as well so um, I'm doing a few modules at the moment, I'm doing three of them actually. Um, I'm doing um, Develop Keyboard Speed and Accuracy which is a good one for my typing ability. Um, which is, of course, what people kind of struggle with, you know, in the typing. Like, I used to be the one doing fingers, <laughs> and now I'm doing... You can probably hear the keyboard, that's kind of how I type now. So I've learned over time, which is amazing. Um, so it, it does say practice, but it can be done, people. <laughs> Okay, um, another module that I've been doing in the course so far is, des is design and develop um, text documents and it's just a bunch of exercises really um, in a book that I'm doing. Um, this getting used to, to um, Microsoft Word, which of course most of you most of you here would know about that. Um, speaking of which, there's a Microsoft ad on TV right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Um, yeah, that's so I'm um, doing pretty well now. I've got a couple of exercises under my belt already, which is amazing. Um, and then the last of the three is the um, occup occupation, health, and safety. And I think it's a really important one. Um, you know, just, even though I've done that last year in um, the um, children's services, you know, it's always important to do that. In a different, in a business environment, because who knows what could go wrong. You need to be on the lookout. So, um, yeah. Okay. Another point that I'm going to make is that um, some of you may realise I haven't been going to church for a while. Now, I was going to Hillsong Church, but I discovered that it was too far away to to go every week, especially for my parents to pick me up. And so I thought to myself, you know, I want to help them out a bit. And so. I decided that it would not be the best option to go and let them have to take me back every time. Um, having said that though, I have left two churches that I was at recently. One which I was at for two and a half years. Um, and between the two churches, you know, I was pretty much, especially towards the end of the runs, you know, I was pretty much not connecting at all. I was bullied, I was excluded, um, and to the point where, you know, I just had no choice but to leave because I was not connecting with the people and, you know, that's what the church is, the people. Um, and, you know, I say this not because I feel this, but because I know God has called me to leave um, these churches for my good and also because he knows that he... I know that he's got plans for me which are far greater than a building with people who are amazing but just aren't in the right headspace necessarily. Um, and so I'm still um, still connected with God which is amazing. I mean a lot of people just fall into the habit of going to drugs, smoking, drinking but you know seeing the consequences of that, you know, you think to yourself, why bother with that? I mean, I seriously think it is a waste because, you know, you've got to use your life and just use your life and live it to the fullest, you know, you got to live for him, the King of Kings, and, you know, just breathe God's word into the lives of people, even if you don't mention the name Jesus, you know. He is the one that we serve, and um, it's important that people know that, um, you know, it's amazing that people are just really are on fire for God, if that makes sense. 
Um, this also, um, some of you people may have realized I've been putting a lot of negativity up lately. Now, let me tell you that I'm going to inherit for me, okay, in all honesty. I'm not in the right headspace a lot of the time because unfortunately people haven't been too good with me, haven't been, um, well, they have kind of been ignoring me um, and have unfortunately excluded me. It's like they don't want me in their life anymore and that's fine. But when it's too many people, when it's far too many people to the point where I'm like, hello, can you can you help me? And you know, no one should ever feel unwanted. No one should ever feel like they're alone. But unfortunately, this is what people are doing to me. And you know, I'm gonna sit. I'm not gonna sit down and cry necessarily because of this. I'm really frustrated. The fact that people don't understand exactly how I feel. And you know, honestly, hear it for me. I'm not gonna sit down and let this slide. You know, I'm not here to do any wrong. I'm here to make a mess of things. I'm simply here to find acceptance. And I'm simply here to just enjoy life. But I can't really enjoy it when I'm alone, necessarily. You know, when I need help and when I need company, um, you're gonna, someone's gonna have to let me know that they're there for me. So, you know, being alone, that's okay. But when I need help, I expect people to stand up and lead. You know, that's what the leaders are for. So if you're not a leader, then don't bother helping me. But if you want to be a leader, be there for me. It's as simple as that. I don't necessarily mean everyone, but I do want people to step up and just be the people that they are. You know, that's enough of that rant. <laughs> Um, I thank you very much for another video blog and I hope that you guys will all enjoy the next one. Take care.